there is one thing the narcissist doesn't want you to do. It's got to be this. But it, it is also something that you should do if you want to regain your power, if you want to get your power back. Because you met the narcissist, they targeted you, and you ended up liking them a lot. But that is not a good thing. When you like a narcissist, when you fall for a narcissist, because as soon as that happens, that's when you lose your power. Because many of you, you are liking them too much and too soon. You're very eager for something to happen and you're risking everything on this one person when you should be exploring other options. But I understand how it happened to you because they swept you off your feet. They made you become very attracted to them to where you were always accessible to them. You were at their beck and call because you felt as though you had found someone who could be something very important to you. At times you felt happy, excited, eager and enthusiastic. And you may have mistaken it for love, but it was actually just infatuation. You were infatuated with them. But unknowingly to you, they were just sitting back and observing how they were getting to you emotionally how they were affecting you because you ended up liking them a lot so much that you were willing to overlook certain things such as their mistakes, their bad behavior because you like them and you wanna show them that you can cooperate with them that you can tolerate certain things and that you are the, boys, the best choice for them too. But the problem is you act before an appropriate time. You reveal your intentions to them far too soon. And by doing that, you've already made a big mistake because now they can hold you out. They can refuse to accept it. If in their minds they think it's not good enough, they can refuse your offer, your proposal, and then choose to wait for a better one because you've disclosed your intentions far too soon. You have overreacted. And the problem is that once they see you are willing to hand your, po your power over to them so soon, of course they're going to take advantage of it. They're going to exploit it. But fortunately, there is a way for you to get your power back. And if there's one thing they don't want to see you do, it is this. And it may also be something that you don't want to do because you really like and want them. But here it is, the one thing they don't want you to do and quite possibly the one thing that you may not want to do, it's to just let them go. But I know many of you, even though you've already witnessed their bad behavior, you don't want to let them go. You don't want to walk away. 
But guess what? By you not doing that, it's given them the advantage over you. You are keeping yourself locked into something that is not serving you. Because you're choosing to stay. And that is what they will use against you when they see that you're really into them. When they see that you're afraid of walking away because you fear losing something good. By doing that, you're handing your power over to them. Because they can already see that you are liking them far more than you actually should. Because what have they done for you? They haven't made any effort. They haven't given you anything of value that would justify you being deeply involved in them in the first place. So of course, they're just gonna sit back and feel like they can play with you. They're gonna feel like they can, they can engage with you for enjoyment and recreational use rather than for a serious or practical purpose. They will feel like they can do things that give them the advantage over you, where they can spin things into a different direction because they've got you open, they've got you interested and you are completely committed to them. You're in favor of them and you don't wanna walk away because you feel like if you do walk away, then you're gonna lose something good. And then someone else might have it. Someone else might take your place. You need to wake up and realize that you are being tricked. You are being deceived. Because if you look at it, you don't even have anything. If you walk away, you're not losing anything anyway because you don't even have any information about them. When was the last time you actually sat down and had a meaningful conversation with them? I know for most of you, probably never. So you don't even know what this person is going to be like. You don't know how they're going to treat you. All you've got is just their words. And anyone can just tell you what they think you want to hear. It doesn't mean that they're actually about that for real. So instead, what you need to do is look at how you're being treated right now. See that you're being hurt. And then when you see that, it should make it much easier for you to walk away for you to let them go. And when you do that, it will make their manipulation ineffective. Then they can no longer use you or control you. Because that's all they're really wanting to do. That's all they're really looking for when they target someone, when they choose a victim. It's all about how much are you going to tolerate? How much unfair treatment are you willing to put up with? Because yes, they do know that what they're doing is unfair. They just don't care. They just wanna see, how are you going to react to this? Are you still going to stick around? And if you do, then I know I've got you under my spell. I know I've got you wrapped around my finger to where you're completely under my control. Because the narcissist, yes, they are always testing you. They wanna see if they have an advantage over you. Because they already know these things that they are doing to you. They know that you should be walking away. They know that you should be letting them go. They know that you should run away and never look back. They know that you should not put up with the things that they are doing to you. 
because they are fine with you walking away. They really don't care if you go. Because all that's happening when they're doing that is they're just weeding people out. They're just getting rid of people who are not suitable for the position that they are looking to fill. Because all they're trying to do is find someone who is stupid. Someone who is going to be their doormat, their fool, an idiot. And they're gonna find someone like that by eliminating people who are not willing to tolerate their behavior. So they already know exactly what they're looking for and they will test you to see how much you're willing to put up with, to see if you're gonna be a suitable victim for them. And as soon as they try to do that, you need to go. You need to leave them, just cut them off. Forget about them. Because you could be sure that these things that they are doing to you, these things that you don't like, if you stick around, there's only gonna be more of that to come. It's gonna get far worse. They're not just gonna change and become who you want them to be. Become a better person just because you've decided to stay. No, if you stay, that then signals to them that you're okay with what they're doing. You're okay with their behavior. So then they're just gonna ramp it up. It's only gonna get worse once they know that you're willing to put up with it. So you've gotta get yourself to a point where you're fine with leaving and never looking back without questioning or second guessing yourself. Because when you leave, they may try to come back. They will wanna test you to see if maybe they've pushed you too far. They will wanna see if you're really done. So they may even apologize. They may promise that things will change. They may use future faking. But all that's gonna happen if you give them another chance. They're just gonna know that they've got you. They've got you right where they want you. So what you've really got to do is to show them that you are not willing to play their childish games. Show them that, show them that they have blew their chance. And then all you've got to do is just keep it moving. You shouldn't even be talking to them, but if you are, you've got to demote them from that higher position that they once had with you. Stop taking them so seriously. Treat them as something you just use for your own enjoyment, for recreational use. Something that you just engage in when you're bored. Because they have shown you already that they are not deserving of a higher position with you. They're not deserving of better treatment. They've shown you that with their actions. So you've got to demote them and put them down to a position, a level of treatment that is more suitable for them based on how they choose to behave with you. Because they should never have done what they did to you. They should never have tried to test you. So you've got to deal with it like that because they will test you. And you've just got to respond to the test in the right way by cutting them off, walking away and letting them go. And by not questioning or second guessing yourself. Because by doing that, that is how you will get your power back. And not only that, it will prevent you from getting caught up in things that are not gonna be any good for you, that are not gonna serve you. But I know sometimes it can be difficult to see the difference between what is good and what is bad because they don't do it in the beginning. They wait until you like them enough and then they get you. 
because then they know you like them. And they just want to see how bad do you want me? How much can I push you? Let's see how strong you are. That is why you've just got to walk away. Because these games, these tests, they're never going to end. They're going to keep testing you. They're going to keep playing these games and it's just going to get worse. You're never going to be at peace. You're never going to be at rest. You are always going to be on edge waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're never going to feel safe. You're never going to feel comfortable. As long as they're around you, as long as they're a part of your life. So cut them off, walk away and continue along your journey. And don't ever look back. Let them find someone who's more suitable for them. Let them find what they're really looking for. A fool, a doormat, someone who's willing to play their game. Because that's all they're going to find when they run these silly games. When they give you these stupid tests. I mean, you, you should already know what kind of person they're going to find when they're doing that. I mean, of course, they're not going to find anything good. Because what kind of person is going to stick around when they're doing that? It's not going to be anyone who's strong, confident, believes in themselves and has a purpose. No, of course not. That type of person is going to walk away and find something else. So, yeah, in the end, that's what they end up with. And... Good luck to them. Let's see how they get on with that. Leave them to it. And you move on and you find someone who is more like you. Someone who believes in themselves and values themselves. Someone who practices self-care and self-love. Someone who is strong and confident. You walk away, you move on, and you find someone like that. Someone who will compliment you. Someone who you can build with. Because that's the type of person that you deserve. So you've just got to move on and find someone who is more like that. And when you do, you will realize why it never worked out with a narcissist you will realize why. So yeah, I wish you the best on that. I'm sure you all can and will find someone who can compliment you in that way. And yeah, I mean, you all can know that you have the awareness of this of what to look for, what to avoid. Now you can run your own process of weeding people out who are not fit for the purpose that you're looking for. Because now you know how to deal with it. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you all. Please give it a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it. Share your thoughts in the comments. And you all have a great day. I will talk to you in another one.